Welcome to Level Pixel Level, and this is Drivers Masterclass. Uh, someone asked me recently in the comments how I would go about rigging and driving something like elevator doors. So I thought I'd show you three different ways I would rig different doors today using drivers. All of the files used in this video are on my Gumroad account, and you can find the link in the description. So I've gone ahead and already rigged up these doors. So if I click on this rig here, I can just move this door on the Y, and I can put this one in this direction on the Y. I purposely pointed these bones in the opposite direction. So when I select both and hold Alt down and drive the Y value, they'll go in the opposite direction, but they'll have the same positive value. So right now they're both at 0.57, positive. It's just a fun way to rig doors up and it's a nice way to animate them as well if you wanna play with them at the same time. So I'll click on the root uh, control here and I'll go to custom properties and I'm just going to go to add. And there's a property here. I'm just gonna rename it door underscore open. And I'll leave the min and max alone for now, but the default value, I'm just gonna put at 0, 0.0 and I'm gonna click okay. So I'm just gonna copy this data path by right clicking on this number here and clicking copy data path. Then I'll click on one of the uh, door controls here and I'll right click on the Y location and click add driver. Now this panel is gonna come up. I'm just gonna click outside of it. We're gonna use the driver window for now. So down here, I'm gonna pull this up and I'm going to go to drivers. So this is driver door zero two. If I hit N on my keyboard, I bring up this other panel and click on drivers and I'm just gonna make this expression var. Then for the variable, I'm gonna make it a single property and the property is going to be this rig. So I'll click on the property and it's gonna look back at itself. The name of this rig is door01. If I just expand this here, this rig is door01. So under the property, I'm gonna type door underscore zero one. And it's this armature right here. You can also use the, um, if I close this, you can use this eyedropper tool and then click on the object you want. I'll do that again, actually. So if I click on this eyedropper tool and hover over my rig, object door zero one, and just click on it, it fills that in. Then here, I'm just gonna do control V or command V on a Mac. And that's it. So the value is one. So if I click back on my root bone here, uh, the value is one, so if I drive this to zero, it's gonna move that door there, back to its original location. So I'll leave it at zero for now. Now all I have to do is grab this driver and paste it to the other controller because these bones are facing in the opposite direction. So if I right click here and do copy driver, click on this control here and do paste driver. Now, when I drive that dial, the doors are just moving off in the correct direction. Last thing I can do is I can go to edit here. Instead of max at one, I'm just gonna put this at 2.0 and hit okay. There's a couple ways you could do this. Now the doors will keep sliding off and you can see the bones keep sort of moving outside of the elevator door there. There's other ways to do this too, but for now, that's just how I would go about rigging that piece. Let's go to door number two. So this one is a little bit different. Um, it's similar with this piece here that's gonna move this piece out in this direction. And I want this one to move in this direction. But then these ones here, I've actually positioned the bones so that the Y axis can let them move in these directions and do some really interesting uh, things when this is gonna open. First thing I'll do is I'll click on the root and I'm just gonna add a custom property. I'm gonna rename it to door open. I'm gonna put the default value to 0, 0.0 and the property value to 0, 0.0. Just for now, I'm just gonna make the max 2.0. Actually, I'll leave it at one. I'm gonna do this in a different way. And I'll right click on the number and I will copy the data path. So to start out, I'll click on this control down here. I'll start there. I'll right click on the Y and I'll do add driver. I'm actually gonna do it in this menu now. So I'm just gonna type in var and I know it's a single property. I know it's a rig, it's door underscore zero two. Click on this one here, and I'm just gonna paste this in here. So going a little bit quicker this time. But instead of var, I'm actually gonna do var times two. So now, when I grab this property and drive it, it's gonna move two times as much. And it's still not enough to clear the door frame. So I'll click back on the bone itself, or the control, 
I'll right click on the Y and I'll go to edit driver and I'll do var times three. Yep, that's enough right there. So I'm gonna right click on this driver and I'm going to go to copy driver. I'll click on this one and I'll do paste driver. But I actually want this one to move in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna right click on it again and go to edit driver. And instead of var minus three, I'm going to do minus var times three. That's still not moving far enough away as I would like it to go for that one value. It's looking cool, but it's just not clearing the stage. Um, but I don't want to change the speed of these doors. So for now, I'm actually gonna to go to my door open property and I'm gonna change it from one to three for the maximum value. I'll click okay. Now I can drive it continuously in that direction. I'll click on this control here, right click on the Y and do paste driver. I don't need to do anything with it because I copied the driver from this control down here and I just pasted it up to here. This one down here, I've pointed in that direction, but same thing, I can just paste the driver. And this one up here, I can just paste the driver. Now when I grab my main root bone here and drive the door, I get this except these bottom ones are not moving. I pasted that wrong. It is the, ah, I see what's wrong. Uh, sometimes when you paste drivers, they actually fail to paste. So if I go to edit this driver, it is red right here. It means it's sort of pasted, but it didn't actually paste correctly. So if you experience this, this is sort of why this might happen. Um, I know it's door zero two, and I'll just go back to my root bone, door open. I'll copy that data path again, just to make sure. I'll click back on this bone, I'll right click on the Y, and I will go to edit driver. I'll just paste this in the path, and then I'll do var times three up here. You know, I'm actually just going to copy that driver, click on this control up here and paste it again and see if it fixes it. Yep, it did. So I'll bring this back to zero, and you can sort of see what's happening here. It's cool. The only thing I want to do is actually delay the two side doors from exiting a little bit. So it'd be cool if these two had a bit of a delay on them. And if I grab my custom property here and drive it to about 1.5, maybe 1.3, that's when I want them to turn on. Okay, so I'm just actually gonna edit this driver so it has a delay to it. So I'll go to edit driver, and instead of var, I'll do var subtract 1.3. Now, just like our bed mass uh, inputs, I need to put this in parentheses so that the negative 1.3 calculates before the multiplication of the three here. Now that's gonna push it back to here, unfortunately. It's actually giving it a value of a minus number. To fix this, come to the drivers panel down here, select on your driver, go to modifiers, and you're going to add a limits modifier. And you're gonna do uh, minimum X and minimum Y. Now, this will not allow this driver to get a negative value. So even though its value here is at negative 3.9, it's not gonna actually activate until it goes above zero, which you'll see it activate late here, and now it pushes through. So what I'll do is actually grab that driver now and copy it and paste it up here to this one. So now I have something like this. So now those two side pieces are just a little bit delayed from the main door opening. And you can keep playing with this to fine tune it, or even have the middle doors delayed as well, so that the middle one goes first and the side ones go after, using the exact same technique. Let's go to door number three, and we're gonna do something similar. So I want this middle piece to rotate 90 degrees here before the door opens. So it's not too bad to do. I'm gonna click on the root. I'm gonna add a custom property. I'm gonna edit it and rename it door underscore open. And I'll change the property value to 0.0, .0 and the default to 0.0. .0. I'm gonna go ahead and put the max up to 3.0 right now. And I'm gonna click okay. And I'm gonna right click on this and copy the data path. So for this one here, it's actually the Y rotation that I'm going to drive. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna add a driver and I'm gonna type in var and the property is gonna be door zero three 
and it's going to be a single property, and I'm just going to paste this in here. Now I want this value to be at 90 degrees when this door open value here is at 1. So I'll input 1 first, and I'll just see what I'm getting. So I'm getting 57.3, which isn't so bad. We're going to play around with it. Um, if you remember from my other videos, I need to convert this to a radians. And I'll link that video in the description as well as to why I'm doing this. And now it's giving me one degree for a one input here. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to edit the driver and I'm going to multiply it by 90. So now it's giving me a value of 90 degrees when I have a value of one. So I'm getting something like this. Or it's rotating that. Now I don't want this to go past 90. So I'll just put it at one to put it at 90 degrees. I'll click on the uh, control here. I'll go to the driver's panel down here. So when I do radians var times 90, the output of the value is actually 1.571. That's what I'm going to input into my modifiers. So I'm going to add a limits. I'm going to turn on the maximum x and maximum y, and I'm going to do 1.571, and for maximum I'm going to do 1.571. This means it will not go past 90 because it's doing another degrees conversion on that. And I'll show you what I mean. Just really quickly, if I go to a Python console, do degrees 1.571 and hit enter, that's about 90 degrees. And that's pretty much where I want it. So now when I drive this value to one, it will not go past 90 degrees on that rotation. But then at one, I want these two doors to open. So again, it's the Y value that I'm gonna drive. So I'm going to right click and add a driver. And I'm not going to do it here. I'm actually going to do it in the drivers panel down here. So go to drivers and it's going to be var minus one because I don't want it to start right away. I want it to minus one from the equation before it starts. And that's actually it. I just need to fill in the data down here. So it'll be a single property. It'll be door.03. And I should be able to just paste in that path I have still. Now it's saying error invalid Python expression. If I just click on the var and hit enter, it'll fix it. Sometimes it's just delayed. I have to do one more thing. I have to add a limits modifier. So I'm going to add a limits and I'm going to do minimum of zero. You actually see it changing in the graph here. If I turn that on and off, you can see it actually adding that limit there in the graph. Now I can just copy this driver, click on this other control here and paste it. Since these are facing the opposite way, they can share a driver. So now I can just test this out. Yeah, I get that interesting turn, and then right as soon as it locks in, it moves and opens the door as well. Just a little bonus section. Uh, say you want to actually even drive the value here so that when this goes from 0 to 1, I'm going to do one more driver. I'm going to copy this data path. And I'm going to go to object mode and click on this lock right here. If I open up a shader editor, I can actually drive this mix shader that I have. And it goes from red to green. So I'm going to add a driver. And I'm just going to type in var. And I'm going to make it a single property. And this is door 01. And I'm going to paste in the property here. I'll just flip to viewport shading. Now when I grab the rig and drive that open door value, we actually change it to green. So just something fun you can do with drivers as well as you're playing around with um, adding shaders to these drivers as well and hopefully making uh, animators lives easier by just having one dial to do everything. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Uh, big thanks to my Patreons for helping me out with this video. If you want to see how I rigged this video, head on over to Patreon and uh, become a patron. I've done a full video of how I've actually added these controls. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>